Welcome to the What's New in Forte Web video. In this video, you'll learn about the latest addition to Forte Web, freestanding posts. So let's check it out. When you navigate to the Add Member menu, you'll now see a new option for freestanding posts under the Post section. Like other member types, click the icon to add a post to your job. Once you've added the post, it will display under the current level within the job tree. Remember that you can rename the post by hovering over it and selecting the edit icon. You can also move the post within the job tree by simply dragging and dropping the post to the desired location. New for vertical member types is the Height and Supports tab. From this tab, you can specify the height of the post along with information about the support that the post will be attached to. Once you have defined the height and support information, you will input the loads for the post from the Loads tab. Like other member types, you will enter load magnitudes into the loads grid, add additional loads using the Add Load button, or delete unwanted loads by selecting the Delete icon at the top of each load column in the grid. You can also consider whether to apply eccentricity for vertical loads. You can learn more about this from ForteWeb Help located under the Help menu on the top toolbar. Now select the products you want to consider for design. You can compare solutions from the Solutions tab to determine which product works best, and then view a report from the Reports tab for your selected product. It's that easy to figure out what product works best for the defined post condition. Now, just print the member report and include it with the project documentation. To learn more about Forte Web, go to Forte Web Help or start a chat with our support team. You can also check out our Warehouser Software YouTube channel to see more What's New videos for Forte Web software. We hope you will take advantage of the exciting features in Forte Web. Thank you for choosing Warehouser Software.